Happy March. Happy March. This is Watch Me Work. We're going to work for 20 minutes and then we're going to spend the time remaining talking with you about your work and your creative process. We have, uh, we, we are grateful to the public theater and HowlRound for making this virtual space possible for us. Uh, we're here most every Monday from five to six via Zoom. We've been doing this for many, many, many years, like 10, 11, 12 years from the lobby of the public theater. Sorry, there's some noise in the background. Um, and uh, if you wanna get in touch with us after the 20 minute work session, Audrey can tell you how to do it. Let's hear it, Audrey. Hi friends, thank you for hopping on the Zoom today. Um, if you would like to ask a question and you're inside of the Zoom, all you need to do is click on the raise your hand button in the reactions tab. Um, which is likely on the bottom of your screen if you are on a laptop or the top if you're on an iPad or a tablet. And if you're watching our live stream, you can actually ask us questions on Twitter with at WatchMeWorkSLP with the hashtag HowlRound, H-O-W-L-R-O-U-N-D. Uh, or you can tweet at the Public Theater uh, or write to our Instagram and we'll get the questions that way. And that's it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So shall we begin? Let us begin. Uh, here we go.
All right. All right, all right, all right. Now we are here for the Q&A. You got a Q, I'll find an A. Hey, Ryan. Let's see, Ryan, hey, go Dave. for it. Hey, Ryan. Hey, hello. How you doing, man? Uh, good, good. I'm uh, <clears throat> getting back. I just, uh, I'm not as Zoom friendly as I once was. <laughs> um, uh, it's good to be here. Yeah. Yeah, good to see you. I guess uh, my question, uh, so it's more, I'm in the editing world now. Oh, okay. What do you mean the editing world? What does that mean? So uh, I think uh, I'm trying to think back to like, uh, so I have like a body of work. Right. And, uh, and so I was trying to approach some other editing ways I had before. Okay. Uh, where I printed out. So like I had written it and then I typed it up and I printed out a body of work. And then I read like half of it and then I just like put it down and walked away for <laughs> some time. And okay. I think that's a habit I know okay. uh, of. And I know that in order to do, uh, in order to create work, you need to show up. So I think I have a tendency to, to maybe get to the top of this mountain and then, <laughs> and then, uh, and then start looking out in other directions. <laughs> hey. um, but I've, so, but now I'm at the point, so it's, at first it was like a one person narrative, but then I was like, I think there's these five voices in this piece. So I'm trying to create a choir and okay. I've gotten into the jive of like, oh, this is exciting that like this, this voice says this and this voice says this. And, uh -huh. but then, uh, and that, and that's always, and that's exciting because that will feel good. And that's like, so then obviously that makes us want to show up more <laughs> to, for the work. You're like, oh, this feels good. Uh -huh. Hitting a lot of repetitive. And that's where I sort of, I think that sort of derails me because I, I'm, um, I'm like questioning if it's, like in this repetition, like what works or what doesn't work. I think I'm, be, I'm being very precious as opposed to just like trying to use the image of like a, I think you've used before, I've heard you use like a sort of like enjoying the editing process of cutting things uh -huh. where I feel like um, in some of this repetition, I'm getting just a little lost in like what I'm trying to hang on to or like, I'm like, maybe that will eventually serve me, but it doesn't, but I think, um, so yeah, I guess in the editing, in terms of like repetition and what you what feels worth, it's hard. Yeah, I guess it's like I feel like I'm so in it, I can't really gauge uh, what is how to cut some of this repetition if it's catering to uh, sort of the momentum of the story or not. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So let me try to paraphrase. So you have a you have a piece, and you've written from the beginning to the end. So you have a right is that correct yeah, yeah. Okay, great okay so you, that's great so you crossed the finish line and now you're going back and you're going you're working on the editing of it and you find that in the editing you're discovering that you have a lot of repetition right yeah is that correct and you're wondering if that repetition if we should cut it or we should keep it right yeah i'm getting yeah i'm just getting because i feel like some of it is helpful I guess I'm just getting, and then, uh, and then I, yeah, I just sort of get them. I think I'm getting a little lost in if it's just <laughs> a little soapboxy repetition. Uh -huh. energy or... uh -huh. I hear you. I hear you. So, I mean, if you feel like some of it is helpful, then I would keep the parts of it that feel helpful and the parts that feel like, ah, okay, I've heard that five times and I'm not really, um, uh, I'm not going anywhere new with it, you know? or it's not really helping the piece in any way. You don't always have to go somewhere new with it. That's just one way of deciding. But if it's really not helping the piece, if it's not being additive, it's, if it's not taking your piece to the next level, then um, you can take it out for the moment and put it off to the side, you know? And you can always put it back, you know what I mean? You're not cutting it and burning it and forgetting about it, you know? You're just cutting it for the moment and you're gonna try it without it. 
you know, just, just go ahead, go ahead and, and enjoy pruning. And it's going to, I think maybe some new things will come to mind after you've cut some of the repetition, maybe you think, but I need something there, but I don't need a repetition. I don't need something that's just repeating. I need something new there. Maybe, you know, you cut, maybe the speech, you know, that you're thinking about is cutting is this long, right? So you cut those seven lines out and you leave the space and go, what, what new can happen here? Just write that, you know, in the space by hand or write it in big letters, like need something new here. You know, where else can, what else can the speaker say on this point? You know, where else can, what else can we talk about? What else might be fun to see right here? You know, or fun to hear right here. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I think I'm just, it's interesting to, I'm finding myself in this precious energy space. I'm not even, I, I just, I was editing out of a, a hard sort of copy by hand, but then I and went, I was like, I think I'm going to try editing within the matrix computer route. And I'm even noticing instead of cutting, I'll just like italicize them. I'm like, maybe I should cut this, but I'm like, girl, why don't you just cut it? <laughs> well, wh why did you move from the hard copy to the computer? I think uh, when I, um, I think uh, I sort of, I fall into the category of, of, act of actors who create one person performances. But then I, uh, I think with this piece, I was like, I was like, you could have these five different voices of this one. I, they were coming, I guess in this moment, they're coming from the same space. So in going back to the computer, I've been, I've, that's where I found the excitement in being like labeling the voices and like that editing process has like, uh, the momentum right. in that has been exciting, but then I'll still just italicize things. And I'm like, well, you can just carry on to it. Even though I'm, I'm like working on like a, a duplicate copy Oh, right. Oh, okay. Like, okay. So we got to <laughs> simplify. We got to simplify. So assigning parts to different voices is not rewriting. That's writing. That's why it feels confusing. You're, you're, so what you do is take the, take a copy that's on your computer, assign the voices. Don't cut anything, assign the voices and then print it out with the voices assigned right? And then cut by hand, circle, cross out, cross out and say, repetitious, what new can I have here? Or what else can the char this character say? This character said this five times already. I'm tired of hearing it. You know, what else is new? Like that. Okay. Oh, so yeah, because yeah. yeah, you, you, you're writing and rewriting at the same time. Oh, yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Okay. So Assign the voices, get all that, get all that done to the best of your ability in this draft, and then print it out again, and then read it through and start circling and drawing lines through things that you'd like to cut. Okay, yo, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. okay yeah, that sounds more fun. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, we, I mean, we've talked about it before, you know, doing one thing at a time, writing and then rewriting is, is better than trying to do them both at the same time. Okay, yes. Yeah. Cool. Okay. All right. Well, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Ryan. It's great to hear you writing, though, man. It's great hey, to hear you. Yeah. Great. <laughs> um, all right, Nate, you had your hand up. Yeah. Now. I know. And Nate's like, yeah. no, I don't have a question. I think it was the wrong type of emoji. I'm sorry. I know it's weird. There you go. There you go. Hey, bro. All right. So I will ask. I was, I was hemming and hawing. So um, in the grand scope of like playwriting, I'm, I'm new. My, okay. my training is in acting oh, and great. I took my first playwriting class um, one year ago this February. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. In that time, I've completed two full length plays. Look at you. And both of them have been finalists in competitions, one at the Ooh. South and one somewhere else. Ooh. But here's, here's the question I have. I'm still, you know, in that rewrite place, listening to readings, very private readings where I'm making changes and um, I actually have um, a Tony and Grammy nominated um, star who's attaching herself to one of my plays. Mm -hmm. My question is, I'm really, really new to this world. W what do I do? Like, do I just keep submitting to the various contests and workshops and hope to workshop it? Or do I 
that's that yeah that that's a great idea i mean if 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 that's i mean it seems like you're having good luck with 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 submitting it your place to various contests and things sounds like you've got a great actor actress a, a, a person um who's who's attaching themselves to your work which is all good things i would just i would keep doing what you're doing and what's cool is that the actor that who is attaching themselves to your work might have ideas also you know um, yeah. Hey, let's send it here. Hey, I I know some people over here who can who would love to do a reading like that. So that could help sort of bring your work to the eyes and ears of of some people. In instead, in addition to the submitting it for you know a, a contest route, you know. Yeah. So yeah. keep trying to build its resume. Yeah. Keep trying. Well, well said. There you go. Keep trying to build its resume and keep writing more stuff. You know. That's good too. Thank you. You're welcome. Congratulations on all your hard work, man. I'm glad it's Thank coming you. together. I'm try, yeah. Trying to change my life with my brain. There you go. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. Great. All right. We don't have a question at the moment. Okay. We could just sit here. All right, Crystal, go for it. Hey, girl. Hi, how you doing? I'm good, I'm good, good to see you. Good to see you too. Um, so we're back at the same place we were like last week. Uh-huh. Where um, I'm working on this, you know, the the play about the sermons. It's, I right. changed it to the the absent sermon. And um, so right now it's, it's, one character and I think four or five different s sermons okay. and an event happens right outside the church and it's basically him missing the mark because uh -huh. he's preaching on one thing something's happening and he's not addressing what's happening until later um but I don't I don't think it's a one it's it's not I know it's not a one man um play uh mm -hmm but I've had a really hard time trying to find, trying to imagine more people um, mm -hmm. because I think there are, there's common, there's a, a lot of commentary on my end for the process, not the process for what he has to say or what he has to go through mm -hmm. and hopefully grow from. Mm -hmm. But I, I feel like there should be other people there to, I don't know. I, I feel like there should be a world and I don't have that world. I just mm -hmm. have this event and this one man speaking, but I feel like there's more to it. And I don't know how to, how to mm -hmm. get more of an, um, I don't know how to create that world. Usually the world kind of comes, um, but I've mm -hmm. kind of just process has been a little bit, I told you like just different um, because it's just coming from my opinion. And mm -hmm. so I feel like I, maybe I, I should have <laughs> done things the normal way, whatever way that is. Um. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the way that is. The normal <laughs> way is whatever way, whatever it is that you're doing. Um, right. So have you ever seen uh, The Matrix? Oh, yeah. Great. You know, Neo? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you know, zeros and ones? Zeros and ones. The screen one. looks like yeah. when they're looking at zeros and ones, that green thing. Great. Uh -huh. So you can play a game. Okay. So you're looking at a screen, right? So you're Neo right now. Just look, look at the screen. See all the zeros and ones? See those green lines? Okay. Right. Tell me who's in the play. Who else do we need to hear from? Who else do we need to see? Just tell me. Who else do you see? Who do you see? Um, Say something. A black man. Black man doing what? Um, Quick. Arguing. Arguing with whom? Angry. Great. Who's he um, a woman. Yeah, great. What's she doing? What's she look like? What? Um, she's trying to defend. 
and um, trying to defend the preacher. Oh, okay, great. Okay, who's she talking to? She's talking to the black man. Great. Okay, great. Who else you see? Who else? Quick. Uh, the screen is zeros and ones. That's all there is. You have uh, to read it. You're reading the code. What is it? What do you see? Okay. You see? Um, oh, I, I'm a pastor. Good. Okay. Who else? Even if it's wrong, tell me um, something. Give a me a kid. <laughs> a kid. How old? Um, seven. Great. Uh, does it matter? Does the gender, or sex, or whatever the appropriate phrase is? Uh, or girl or boy. other. Great. Okay. What uh, ethnic group? Anything? Can you say anything else? Uh, a, a, a white. Boy. White boy, white boy, seven years old. Great. Who else? Who else? Zeros and ones. Who else do you see? Come on, read the code. Uh, Who else do you see? A black woman. Black woman. Yep. Okay. Different one than before. Uh, a Puerto Rican man. Great. Great. Man, what's he doing? What's his deal? He's angry too. He's angry. What's he at? Yeah, angry at? He's um, angry at, mm. at the lack of response. Mm-hmm great oh but there look i see there are people who are happy someone's happy someone's glad i'm someone's happy someone's, someone's appropriate happy. right don't you think look, okay zeros and ones what else is there uh there's depth of field they're not all on the same page okay um come on neo read the code what do you see say something uh, wrong. an asian woman say something wrong go ahead keep going go ahead an Asian uh, woman doing what? Where she just come an from? An Asian woman um, complicit. Wait, okay. Is she old? Young? She's middle-aged. Great. Does she have a family? Yes. How many? Uh, three kids. Three kids. And a husband, wife, what? Uh, husband. Great. Okay. What does she do for a living? Uh, she's a nurse. Great. Okay. Good. There's some people. <laughs> you know, some, you know, right? I mean, yeah. yeah, well done. You see, it's all, it's there. You just have to like, you know, read it. That's read. good. Those are some people. Okay. Now you can make scenes out of those. They can talk to the audience. Um, you know, they can all go to the church that she go that he preaches at, the pastor preaches at, you know? Right. Um, you can just put them anywhere you want. They can be on the street. They can, you know? Yeah. Yeah. You know? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's weird, right? This is weird shit, right? And guess, and guess what, Crystal? That was the normal way of doing it. <laughs> okay. Well, yay! So see how that works. Yeah. See how that what, that what that feels like, right? For those people, you know, right? Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. All right. Thank you. <laughs> that was fun that was fun that was fun yeah. right yeah. <laughs> okay. Great job. oh that's amazing all right lynn you're up next hey lynn unmute oh. yourself sis you got it there you go there you go you did so endings 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 yes when you talk about you know just writing crap just write crap is that the same for endings? Okay, just write crap, end it. Like, you know, yeah. a building falls on, you know. Sure. Your toe. Sure. Yeah. So like yeah. that. Yeah, piano falls from the sky, crushing the character, blackout. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, yeah. That'll work. You know, you write that, and then you, in a week or so, you go, mm, I'm reading the whole play, and I'm like, yeah, I don't know, maybe <laughs> I mean, but maybe that'll work. Maybe if they're, you know, maybe that yeah, is, no. is wonderful. You know, yeah. I, the play is about, I, and the play takes place in a bed. Okay. Uh, you know, because I, I think life takes place in a bed. A lot of life takes place in bed. Okay. And, and people come and go in the bed, uh-huh. you know. It's a mother and father. There are lovers. There are, there are you know, people. I, I mean, it just seemed like this absurdist vision. I seem to 
get ideas in pictures rather than words to begin yeah. with. Okay. Yeah. And uh, yeah. bed gets bigger and smaller as oh, as great. play goes on. You know. Okay. Um, and, and then so the, the then the piano falls on the bed, and that's the end of the play. Yeah. Yeah. Just, I mean. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, you gotta say, like, what's the story? You know. What's the, the story? story? The Knowing the story will tell will tell you what the end what end you need to have, right? Oh, no, I you want to you know down. you you want to like like wrap it up. I mean, also, what kind of bed is it? It's a when you say what kind of bed is it? What do you mean? You mean what do you mean? Peak to be a dicker. Oh, <laughs> well, however, you want to answer the question. Uh, the bed is is uh, just a, a bed, you know, raked yeah. a little. So people are, it's a bed and it gets bigger and smaller, bigger and smaller, okay. bed, you know. Okay. Well, there, there's so many different kinds. I mean, there's the futon kind of bed. There's this the triangle bed. bed. I mean, it's like, it's like, what kind of person is it? It's just a human. I mean, why are you asking me? I'm saying there's a human in my play. I'm like, you see what I put Crystal through? Like, how old is she? How like? many children? You know, I mean, <laughs> if, if, if you're playing, you know, what kind of bed you might want to ask yourself that question. I'm asking you. Thank you. Is it a, is it a, is it a, is it a Murphy bed? That no. would be interesting. Okay. Is it a water bed? No. Does it change at all during the course of the play? It gets bigger and smaller and bigger it's and smaller. bigger and smaller, but it's, a, so it's the same as like your basic hotel bed. That all it goes. And how? Do, why does it grow? What? It's is there mold on it? How does it grow? I mean, what, what's <laughs> growing? The, does it start as a twin. More, pe more people come. More people are in the bed at certain times. But that. But why does that mean the bed has to be bigger? That's a good question. Thank you. I took, I'm just asking you because I'm trying no, to get you. No, to start, but you're, you're know, asking. Because you're me. asking, what's the story? The story of your of your play is a story of the bed right it gets bigger and smaller and then what does it do like you know i don't know everybody goes to sleep or everybody takes a nap or people pull, do they any does anybody hide under the covers no but it, it's the story is the story of someone's life right does anybody hide under the covers does anybody hide under the bed Oh, this is so great. I love this so much. I mean, it's like, it's like, it, it's like, you know, I've never taken acid, but taking a class with you, I imagine is like taking acid because That's good reason you go like this to all of us. You know, I remember when I was at second city, the piano player always took acid and, and it was sometimes very exciting and i know it, it he was he was a very nice person but he dropped acid a lot and and uh, that's interesting it, you know and, and i i would say could i just have a bell tone if i have to sing because i don't have perfect pitch you know and he'd say oh man i'm sending it to you i'm sending it to you and oh, you man. keep on sending me the bell tone yeah. <laughs> yeah. there you go it's just well, that's awesome. part of my job. I know Thank that's you. part of my job. That's part of my job. Your background, the background, your wallpaper, whatever it's called, looks like a trip. Uh, it? A 91 year old woman, an artist, sent it to me. Uh, this last week, you said you were going to put her name in the chat, and you didn't. Her I Nara did. I Nara? started typing in, it was over. Her name is uh, her name is Nada Klein, spelled Nada C Klein. L Y N E. Oh, okay. Nada Klein. Nada Klein. Okay. She's 91 or 92, and I just love. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Audrey. Thank uh, you. Awesome. Okay. So, so just think about your bed. And Thank then, you know, you know. Also, the bed yeah. is a character. There you go. Does it talk? I don't know. I'm just trying to talk like a bed. Yeah. Is the bed ever sleepy? Does it better ever go like get off me? Shit. Get off me. <laughs> get, get out, live your life. I mean, get out of the fucking bed. And who, I mean, does somebody tuck them in? That's the best part. <laughs> you know? Somebody tuck them in. <laughs> they, they roll off of it occasionally. Oh, okay. In my mind. They roll okay. off of it occasionally. Okay. So when yeah. they get finished talking about whatever it is you're talking about, then it's over, right? 
unless it ends before they're done. And then there's the end there. Okay. You know, yeah. the journey. Just, is over. Yeah, just write, just write until you, you can't think of anything else and then write some more and then go, what's the end? And then think of 10 silly things, 10 silly ways that you could end it and pick one of those. Okay. The piano, we already tried that. So you have to pick. <laughs> I kind of like it, but. <laughs> yeah. Or they could all just be under the covers with the flashlight. <laughs> yeah. Like your son. Yeah. Yeah. Now he has an iPad. Time oh. change. I know. Time's a change. I can't believe he was so tall. He is. He's, he's almost as tall as I am. Oh, wow. I know, Amazing. which is, I'm not, I mean, I'm not tall, but I'm not short either. I know he's, yeah, he's right. like five, five something, five, mm. three or something. I know he's, he's a big, he's a large one. <laughs> he's a large one. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lynn. We've got thank about, you. thank you. We've got about 11 minutes left and we're going to go to Laura. Hey, Laura. How did it work? I oh. meet yourself. You got it. Hey, okay, there you Hi, go. Hey. how are there you, you doing? Crystal, thank you for putting an Asian in your play. <laughs> but I just want to say that, you know, I've been writing for comedy. I haven't been able to find the humor in this whole thing. Mm. I just want you to know that thank you for doing this community. Because when I listen to everybody, it gives me the motivation of pushing to, to just get to write, you know. Yeah, so thank you. you. And, oh, yeah. and that's it. I, I sent something to Audrey and it was when David Henry Wong was here. It made me think of this whole thing. And it was about Yuri Kochiyama and Malcolm X. So mm -hmm. if you're interested, I know that there's a movie thing thinking, you know, Lisa yeah. Ling is working on that. Oh, cool. And it's just on the side. So if you want to just get in touch with me, I'll tell you whatever but thank Hello. you for doing this always it's just helping me move forward how's your writing so, going laura how's your writing going it's the humor i i decided maybe i just take comedy classes therapy and not actually get out there and do stuff you know but mm -hmm. i we just moved back in the city and right. my neighbor upper west has all these comedy clubs i need to get out and do it you right. know, but I've been just so my head is I'm worried because of all the Asian hate crime stuff out there. And my son said, don't worry, mom, you don't even look Asian. Just don't open your mouth. You sound like a Jew <laughs> because my kids are Chinese and Jewish. You know, <laughs> so I'm like, oh, my God. That's a joke. That, so Laura, you just you just told a joke. That was a joke. I was, we were laughing. I don't know. I'm not Thank the only you. one. We were laughing. I mean, that is a joke. You could get on stage and talk about Asian hate and how you're dealing with Asian hate. And, you know, how your son says, hey, don't worry about it, mom. You know, you sound like a Jew. I don't know. That's that's fun. That that to me is funny. I don't and I don't think it's like offensive. Thank you. I mean, I don't know. But yeah, you just, you like you said, I think yeah, just get out there. Get out there because I think, and I, I think what's funny has changed also. What's funny has changed. I think we can, go, we can go deeper and we can, we can speak more truth and say things maybe that maybe we couldn't say a couple of years ago. Maybe. I don't know. Hopefully. Thank you. Uh, thanks, Laura. Thanks, Laura. Um, all right. So we've got our eight minutes left. Okay. And we don't have a question at the moment. Fantastic. Well, we can all look at our phones. <laughs> we could. Or look at the code, the zeros and ones. Zeros and ones. Read the code. Mm. Mm. <gasps> Neat. Second question. Yeah. Hey, there you go. Oh, I pressed the wrong button, I think. Oh, I've lost him. Well, I think oh, there he goes. He's still there, there go. but he, he's on mute. There he is. Hi. So here's my question. Um, I'm doing a rewrite, and in it, I've decided to cut two characters, making my play a three-hander. Okay. 
Now, when you go through in the rewrite and you do the cuts, because of everything I have to add, do I, is it best to treat that like I'm in a revision or is it best to treat it like I'm back to stage one writing stage and just not be afraid to do like a fertilizer draft? Mm, I'm not familiar with the term fertilizer draft. Unless you um, write all the shit that. and then out of the shit grows the flowers. Okay. That's every draft I've ever written. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fertilizer draft. So, so yeah. Um, I, I think you should always write like that. Always rewrite like that. So treat the rewrite like it's like you're starting from scratch. Well, uh, like you keep what you think is working and you cut what you feel is not. You know what I mean? So don't, I mean, it's not like a rule, like the fertilizer draft. I mean, it's like uh, we're not going to just cut stuff just because we're writing a fertilizer draft. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. We're just, we're just going to, again, but that's every single rewrite you're going to cut what doesn't work and keep what does always yeah. is that uh... well i think because i'd written the play cohesively um you know but now that i'm removing the characters there's mm -hmm. big there's big gaps that they used to fill so what i think i was wondering is do i go into those sections and write them as if it was first draft or do i go in there with the editing mind knowing what exists in the rest of the play you know yeah well it depends if the scene works without them like sometimes, sometimes if they're necessary, if, for example, you move into an, you buy an apartment, right? You go, I want to remodel the kitchen. Can I cut, can I eliminate that pillar? And they go, no, that's a bearing wall, bruh. So you have to, you, you know what I mean? So that's holding up the whole structure. Now, if you're cutting something that holds up the whole structure, you're going to need to fix, you're going to need to add something that's going to keep it up. If it, it's not a bearing wall, then, and you cut it and it's like, oh, I don't even need that moment. You know, then you don't need to fill anything in there. You see, um, so it really depends on, on what it's doing. If you go scene by scene by scene, um, take out the character. Great, take out the character. See if the scene works without them. Sometimes you can just assign a line here and a line there to the characters that are still remaining. Sometimes it's that simple. That's awesome advice. Thank oh, you. Oh, thank you. Look at that. What a beautiful day. It really is. I know. Yeah. Thanks for the question. I know. Oh, Crystal's got a question. Crystal, Crystal. Go for it. Hey, and it's, it's actually unrelated to what I've been writing. It's more of like the writing experience, the writer's mm -hmm. experience and like, mm -hmm. you know, um, the, the rejection process. Mm -hmm. um, and like, how do you, how do you bounce back after several rejections um and like when do you know like it's time to I don't know if the word is like give up on a play or like put it down or let it go or like you know how many is there like a, a formula for a number of rejections or uh, like how yeah you, that's a really brave that's a really brave question how do you deal with like you know, people not, not being as into your stuff as you'd like them to be or all that. I don't think there's a formula. I think it's a personal thing. Like, you, you know, if you get like some people, you know, if, if it gets rejected on the first try, then they're like, ah, I'm done. You know, um, I think overall, I think continuing to create work is the best uh, antidote, mm. you know, um, so, you know, the phrase ain't nobody ain't going to let nobody turn me around. You know that song you do? Ain't going to let nobody turn me around. You know, it's a song from the civil rights movement. You know, maybe you've, you know, you've heard it. 
Um, that's what kind of, you know, they weren't talking about their writing process, but they were talking about the need to keep going and not letting anybody turn them around, mm. you know? Yeah. Um, so you, you just, you just keep at it and you just keep sending them out. Um, there's no, you know, maybe you get tired of sending out play number seven. So you put that aside for a minute, you send out play number eight, you know, you get, you know, play number eight isn't getting traction. You send out play number 10. What usually happens is once people go, oh, wow, her work is great. Then they go, gee, you must have just, you must, you're an overnight success, <laughs> you know, and you go, yeah, yeah right. You know, um, yeah. but that, but that, 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 that doesn't matter. The, the thing is, is that you have the opportunity to continue to hone your skill in the absence of um, hype, you know? So maybe you reframe it. Maybe take it as this is a blessing. I get to write another play without too many people talking in my face. Mm. You know? Yeah. I get to write, I get to write whatever I want. You know, so maybe some reframing has to go on, but there's no real formula as to, you know, send it out three times. If it doesn't get accepted by the third time, then burn it. You know, I don't know. Yeah. You know, nah, nah, nah. Just keep just keep coming back. Keep writing yeah okay yeah thank you okay. thank you it's always great to have you in class crystal really thank you yeah thank you hey. all right well it is 5 59 it is 5 59 yeah all right so we'll, we'll be, be here next week we will be here next week okay Thank you guys so much. Great questions. Great questions. Fun working with you today. Thanks, Audrey. We'll Thanks, SLP. You. You're the best. Okay. Uh, you're the best. Okay. Bye. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye.